Hey guys, welcome to your soulmate reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see uh, how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel, that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. So put me on there too. So Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio and their soulmate journey. How is Scorpio's soulmate journey going with Scorpio? For May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus. We have the Page of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini. Do you feel like someone here is spying on you, trying to reach out to you here? Okay. Yeah, I do feel like could, this could be a new person that's in your life. I feel like this person has a complete crush on you. You could be meeting this person off one of those, like, dating apps, you know? But, you know, I do feel like, you know, between you and your person here, between you and this person here, Scorpio, I do feel like there's a bit of a maturity difference here, okay? Because you're coming up as the Empress, and this person's coming as a page here. You know, pra you know, a lot of times I see a page as someone here who doesn't really have a lot to offer. You know, they're younger, you know, they could be immature, they still have a lot of uh, learning to do, a lot of growing to do, they're still on training wheels here, okay? So we have the uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Three of Cups, I feel like this person is having a really great time getting to know you, okay? I do feel like this person, yeah, this person's also falling in love with you here too. Uh, my only concern that, you know, I do feel like there's a bit of a, uh, there's a lack of maturity with this individual here. That's the only thing that's coming up. But let's just take a look and see what else we have here. So I'm with the King of Cups. King of Cups. We have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. So I'm with the Three of Cups. We have the Four of Cups here. Mm. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person fears rejection here. This person's fears, fears being let go. This person fears being abandoned here. You know, I do feel like this person's insecurities are coming up in this relationship here. You know, I feel like because of their insecurities, I do feel like this person has a tendency to test people, to test their love towards you, to test to see if you care about them. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords here and the uh, King of Wands. We have the um, Page of Cups and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are coming to a realization that they want to be with you here. They want to take things far, really, 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 really far here with you, Scorpio. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm get, getting is I feel like you're not really running around chasing this person around. You're just kind of like, you know, sitting back, you know, kind of like going along with the program and just seeing what unfolds here with this individual. But you're definitely noticing some stuff with this person here that seems to be a bit off here too. Yeah, I do feel like this person tends, has a tendency to operate in the ego here. You know, even though they're having these feelings here for you, they could be a bit emotionally closed off, even aloof here too, Scorpio. What else do we have for, for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on for May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio when it comes to their soulmate journey here for Scorpio. So we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I do feel like this person deals with a lot of stress and anxiety here. And I feel like this person, you know, comes in very confused and stuff like that, you know, because I feel like this person spends a lot of time 
in the head, like, with their head in the clouds, you know, and I feel like this person, you know, tends to have a tendency to create situations or scenarios that don't even exist. So I do feel like this person's fears are coming into play here. Sort of like perhaps, you know, the, the, the fears that this person is dealing with here when it comes to you, when it comes to the soulmate connection, I feel, I feel like it can cause some sort of tower moment here. You know, something could completely shift, something here could completely end. Here's the thing, I feel like this person's attachment style is that this person needs a lot of reassurance here, okay? And I feel like even though you give this person reassurance, I feel like this person doesn't really believe that you want to be with them. That's the thing. I feel like this person makes things very, 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 very difficult here, uh, Scorpio. Tell me the Page of Pentacles here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Nine of Swords here, and the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine, uh, nine plus one is ten. This person has a tendency to just kind of go, you know, go towards the worst. You know, I feel like this person has a history of self-sabotage. There is a really great thing that's going on here between you and your soulmate, and I feel like this person doesn't really quite recognize that. Yeah. I do feel like there are certain things that you need to know about this individual if this is your story before you kind of move forward, you know, kind of like use your best judgment, your discernment, your intuition here, okay? So, um, let's see, we have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. The uh, Temperance card, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I do see distancing yourself from this person. I do feel like this person's going to feel very, very disappointed here because I feel like you're going to recognize that, you know, whatever this person has, is showing you, this is not really your jam. You don't want to be dealing with this here. You know what I mean? So I feel like one of the things I'm getting here also is that you're forcing this person to face their truth here. And I feel like this person's scared to face it and they're running from it here. They're running from it. I do, yeah, I do feel like someone here has a crush on you. I really do. This person's like, you know, gathering information about you. This person has feelings here for you. This person's catching feelings here for you, uh, Scorpio. You know, I, I really do feel like this is a new, newer person coming into your life. And I feel like what you don't see is that, you know, this person has a lot of baggage that this person has to deal with here, okay? And I feel like, it, like I said, if this is your story here, you know, uh, you'll just trust your intuition, use your best discernment and your judgment here when it comes to this person. Uh, so for some of you guys, I, I, I don't see you guys taking this on uh, because this is sort of like too much for you or that it could be too overwhelming for you or that you don't have time to babysit someone here, you know, uh, you know, and, and, and you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like walk this person through, uh, you know, a training session, you know, you know what I mean? So uh, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.